I actually recorded the video for this um, a couple days ago, but then upon looking at the footage, I realized that it's complete garbage. <laughs> um, the camera, I'll insert some of the footage here, like you can't really see what I'm doing at all because my camera really, really sucks. This is the same camera, but um, I have it set up slightly differently, like it's like directly above my laptop, so I'm hoping you guys can see this. I would re-sculpt it, but I'm out of polymer clay, so there's really um, nothing I can do at this there's really nothing I can do at this moment um, until I'm able to purchase some more polymer clay and then I'll maybe like shoot the tutorial again. So these are the joints that I had sculpted when um, recording that that particular video. It's a joint exercise. Um, I just have a basic socket and the two different types of joints. So basically, um, someone asked me how I cut the channels in when I'm sculpting um, with polymer clay. And this is basically what I do. For bigger parts like the head, the torso, well the head and the, the head, the torso, and the upper thighs, I use um, aluminum foil as a core. And I basically sculpt the piece, then dig out the aluminum foil, fix whatever parts get broken because when you're digging out the foil, well, when I'm digging out the foil, something is going to get broken because polymer clay is not the most reliable thing to sculpt BJD with. Anyway, so I dig out the, the core and then I um I go ahead and I cut the channels in with um with an X-Acto knife. It's easier to cut the channels in when before you bake the clay, but if you feel like cutting the channels in will alter the shape will alter the shape that you were going for, then it's best to bake the clay before you do so. So for parts like this, so for parts like this, I basically took something straight, I stuck it in there. This is the one I use. I use a clay shaper. I stuck it in there and then I, you know, I stuck it in there and then I went ahead and I used my measuring spoon to kind of smooth it out. And then before I baked it, I cut out the channel with, um, an exacto knife then I put it in the oven to bake um, same thing with this part I basically did the same thing I had a straight thing I had I sculpted around the um, the thingy so basically this is what my core looked like although I used the clay shaper um, I went ahead and I smoothed it around in my um, measuring spoon which I'll show you guys in the video after this and then I um, use an exacto knife and a clay shaper to basically shape I don't know if you can see it to basically shape the the channel right there and that's how I pretty much did it it's a joint exercise so I made a saw it was supposed to be a joint exercise but like I said the video is crap so um I can't really share too much but basically I'm just going to show you guys how it works with the socket um, I'm going to do a quick test stringing. As you can see, this is the joint and it's a basic, um, I'm not sure what this kind of joint is, but I'm just going to call it a hinge joint and it works. So as you can see, it has a, well, not a full range of motion, but it works. So. That's that. I can't really move it too much to the side because I didn't really like cut too much into it, but it works really well as a hinge joint. I don't know if you can see. It works really well as a hinge joint right there. Okay. And then, <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure what it's called when the joint is round like this, but um, these are basically the two types of joints that you would use to do a BJD. This part, can, this type of joint can be used for like the neck or the hips. Um, so it kind of swivels around and it doesn't have as much range of motion in terms of being like a hinge joint like this one. But um, you can move the piece around. Anyway, um, I know this explanation really, really sucked, but um, 
I don't really have money for polymer clay right now, but when I get the funds, I will try to explain this a lot better. Um, anyway, I hope this was helpful. And, um, oh, right, I have a Patreon account if you guys want to help the channel and, you know, help me with tutorials and stuff, um, you can support me there. Um, the doll that I was sculpting in the other video, the Sculpting the BJD from start to finish, I will insert a picture right here, um, is also available for, um, for pre-order on Kickstarter, so I'll include the link to that in, my, in the description below. Thank you for watching the video, um, I hope it was helpful. And that's pretty much it. Have a great day, y'all.